Hi, this is Matt from Audio Plugin Deals. Today we're looking at the absolutely awesome granular synthesizer from Soundmorph called Dust. Let's have a look at it. Dust is a binaural granular synthesizer. And basically it's designed to create soundscapes and alien atmospheres that you probably have never heard or can't get anywhere else. And the way it does that is by particle simulation with each particle being a separate granulating sound source. And then each one of the particles, the movement is determined by this flow field in the middle. So let's hear some presets first, and then after that, I will go through the features and we'll try and create something. I'm not sure if you have good headphones or a proper listening environment, but if you do, then you'll be able to hear all the intricacies of the sound. It's just madness. I'm <laughs> sorry. 
So obviously I won't go through all of the presets because there's quite a few of them, but hopefully that gives you an indication of just what it's capable of. So let's just hear this one once more, just because I quite like it. Love it. Now let's reset back to the default and we'll try and create something. And as I said, I'll explain all the parameters at the same time. So essentially the way it works is to the right here, you have emitters and there are eight of these and they're all color coded as you can see. And then they're all laid out in the flow field here. Now each one of these emitters can house a sample. The impulses are mainly for the reverb, which we'll get to in a second, but you can load them up in the emitter section should you wish. But let's go with something more conventional. We have this sounds here. So let's just open up, just pick on it random, Canadian Northern. And now we have this sample loaded into the first emitter, which is this one highlighted here. And then once we've done that, we need to determine how that is triggered. So we can choose MIDI node. So obviously that relies on a MIDI to be triggered. We have the sequencer MIDI node. So if we click on this, we have the sequencer below and that will trigger every quarter or we can have it sequencer auto. And when it's on auto, when I press the transport on the door, then that will trigger this sound. So I'm pressing play now. And you can hear the sound shoot out from left to right. You can even visualize it here. And we're skipping ahead a little bit, but if we look down to the bottom left here, we have distance attenuation. So what that means is as it gets further and further away from the listening position, then the volume is attenuated, which obviously happens in the real world. Something is further away, it's quieter. So let's turn this off now. And you can hear it's a constant volume, but let's put it back on. And you can hear it raise up in volume once it gets to the center. Super cool. And if we don't want it starting on the right, we can move it around like so, or we can use these dials here to the right or the angle like we did initially, but let's put it somewhere. Let's go around here. And then when we play it back, you can see that rather than going straight from right to left as it did earlier, it's getting influenced by the sound field and it's swinging back towards the center. And that is because of the flow field that I mentioned earlier. And basically consider the flow field essentially like gravity. However, should we not like that flow field, we can go over to here to our flow field presets and we can choose, I'm gonna pick one at random, inward spiral sounds interesting. So let's click that. Obviously let's turn it on. Just so cool. It's one of those plugins you could spend hours not only being creative with it, but just having fun. So I'm going to add another one now. Let's go the second one and this one sound. And once again, I'm going to pick something at random. Horror scratch. That sounds interesting. And while we're at it, just because it's starting to come to life, so let's go for Space Pulse, I think. Right, now we're getting somewhere, super cool. Let's choose another one of these. Let's go Woozy, sounds interesting. So once again, if you've got headphones or a good listening environment, you can hear these little emitters now floating around the head. I really like that one. So let's leave it on that one. Let's now trigger them a bit more frequently. So let's solo the first one. Second one. 
So I think the third one, this space pulse, let's trigger that a bit more frequently. So let's click on here and then we'll do, let's say one every eighth. Maybe not so regular, let's take off a couple. And just because I'm having fun, let's add another one in. Sounds. Malfunction 1 sounds interesting. I'm just going to solo that so we can listen to it first. And let's make this one a bit more frequent as well. Let's go here and here. No, let's take that off. Let's just do one every half. So now that we have that set up, we can then move on to the envelope and the granulizer settings. So let's solo this blue one. That's the one that we set up more frequently. So let's go back to our malfunction one. That's the one we have only one every half. So let's turn the decan that one up. And while we're here, let's play with the granulizer. So let's adjust to the pitch. The position. Turn it right down. And then the length of the granule. So that sounds phenomenal flying around the head now. Let's do a similar thing. Let's go solo this one for the space pulse. Let's do a similar thing. Let's just get wacky with that. It's just mental all of a sudden. Bit of resonance, let's put this on a bandpass. Just love it. But now that we've done that, we can then right click and we can modulate that. So let's add a LFO. Let's turn this on, obviously. Let's turn the rate to, let's go, keep it at one quarter. Let's turn this depth down, that's by scale. And then on the blue one, this one here, the space pulse, let's randomize or modulate the interval. So again, right click. Adjust the phase, let's put it back to what it was. Let's turn down the depth. And on the first one, let's go length, and we'll put this one on noise. Obviously turn it on.
We have different scales as you can see here, but let's just keep it as it is for now. And we're still going in terms of the modulation possibilities. We can now add an effector. An effector essentially is like a moon or a field in space that influences the gravity around it. So currently we have the one on the right selected because it is circled. We can increase the strength of that. And you can hear once we increase the strength, it is pulled towards that field. Or we decrease it. Just unbelievably cool. I think it's a good time now to click on the hard limit output because it's getting a bit out of control. So that will so that will obviously tame the output. And once again, we can then modulate that. So let's move it around a bit. Let's turn on a sine wave. One quarter will do. Let's turn the scale down. And we're going to also do the same for the strength. And let's make this one a triangle. And we're going to do this one quite slow. Let's go one bar. Obviously the exposition is way too much. So let's turn the scale right down. One will do, and just because it's fun, let's do another one on the X. Scale right down again, just to 1%. Well, let's make this one a noise. So essentially a random. And if you've not worked out by now, I'm having loads of fun as I'm doing this. And then just to finish it off, let's add a bit of reverb and that's with the awesome Convolver here. So let's turn it on and then we'll choose one of the impulses. Let's go with glass. Or maybe paper. Just sounds unbelievable. And let's go back to our flow field and make this, I don't know, vertical expand. Outward spiral. Inward spiral.
So there we go, Dust from Sound Morph. As I said at the start, it's not for everyone, and if it's not, you're probably thinking, I don't get the point, or I would want these sounds. But if it is for you, then you're probably mind blown right now. So it's currently on offer from Audio Plugin Deals. Go check it out, and be prepared to spend hours getting creative with it, and just messing around and having fun, to be honest. So thanks for watching, and I'll be back shortly with something else. See you then. Bye.